There she is. Oh, there she is. Are you ready for the day? No, I'm not ready. What it's, day is it? It's the big closet clean out day. I've been putting this off forever, but it needs to be done. I don't know if you can tell, but my clothes are like starting to literally not fit into my closet. I can't even like jam things in there. So anyway, today I'm going to be doing a major extreme closet declutter and clean out. I'll be sharing all of my tips and tricks along the way. I think I have like eight steps that I follow, but I do just want to say, I want to do like a quick little disclaimer. I realize this is not a normal closet. Like this is, this is a, a, a kind of intense closet. It's, I have a YouTube channel. That's why. And do I need all of these clothes? No, I don't. But after I get rid of a lot, will I continue to buy more? Probably yes, because this is what I do. I share a lot of, I share a lot of clothes. I buy like mid-range clothes. I know not everybody can afford higher end or mid-range, so I also show affordable. So anyway, I just wanted to say that disclaimer. I realize this is not normal, but it needs to be done. Hopefully this inspires you guys in there. Like you watching this video right now, maybe for you to do a closet clean out too. And you can follow my my eight steps. Let's just get started. Uh, this is my closet. This is my closet. My cat is there. What you want to start with, literally going through everything obviously, but put it in two piles, one pile of donating and one pile of selling. It's kind of rare that you're gonna actually just trash things unless there's like extreme holes and stains. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, except I'm probably not gonna sell anything, honestly. I want to just donate my clothes. So I'm just gonna throw everything in a big pile here and we're gonna get this closet looking good. So. Let's get started. Okay, so the very first step is to pull out clothes and get rid of it if it gives you a sinking feeling. I know a lot of people do the, you know, you ask yourself if it sparks joy, which is a good method. I just get rid of things if it just gives me a sinking feeling. So for example, this. I don't know why I still have this. It looks like a cow. Do I wanna keep it? No, it gives me a terrible sinking feeling. But with that said, you wanna you know, keep things that make you happy, but then also keep things that are sentimental. So for example, I will pretty much always keep this sweater. See, this is what I mean. I cannot, it doesn't work. I need to get rid of things, but I'll always keep this sweater, not because I'll probably ever wear it again, but it was the last thing my grandmother ever got me, so keep the sentimental things too. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is kind of go through your whites and get rid of things that are no longer white anymore or have major stains on them. So like, for example, this shirt, I actually wanna keep it, but it does have this yellow armpit stain. So since there's nothing really on this, I can just set this aside and bleach it and keep it. But obviously some items um, that might not work as well. You should also get rid of anything that's just unusually uncomfortable. So I have this bodysuit. I actually, it still has the tags on it. It was sent to me, I didn't buy it. It does not fit me. It like, it scrunches me up. It's so uncomfortable, I never wear it. That reminds me of something else I never wear. I was thinking about this the other day, like this. Uh, it's so tight, it's just so uncomfortable. I never wear it, I need to get rid of it. Okay, so if you are looking to just downsize your closet and you're just nah, still not really sure exactly what you should get rid of, maybe consider things that just wrinkle too fast or too much and you probably don't wear them that much anyway because as soon as you put them on your body, you don't look put together. And an example of it would be these linen pants. I love these linen pants, but I never wear them because even though I steam them, I iron them, as soon as I walk out the door, I'm already a wrinkled mess. Another thing that I often look for is anything overstretched. So I don't know if you can tell, but the holes up here by the, the shoulders are just really big. It's just weighed, weighed down, it's stretched out. When I wear it, the, the sleeves are like way over my hands. I know oversized is kind of in right now, but this is beyond that. This is just way overstretched and doesn't look good. All right, we need to take care of this cardigan section. It looks, it just looks ridiculous. But one thing that I feel like is kind of a no brainer, but you know, it's probably in your closet and you might really like it and you, you look at it or maybe you even wear it, but consider maybe donating or getting rid of items that are pilling. They just don't look n nice anymore. And this is a great example. I don't mind this cardigan, but I always grab it and then I put it back because it's just starting to pill and look ratty.
Okay, so regarding the drawers, I think I'm gonna take a different approach with this, just because with the, the items hanging, everything was kind of already easily seen, kind of already organized a little bit, um, but this, it's just a mess. So I think I'm, I'm gonna just take everything out and then sort it by things I want to keep and things I wanna donate and then neatly fold everything back. So let's just do that now. Oh gosh, so much, it's so much. It's so necessary. I have so many penguins and sports shirts in Pittsburgh. So there's that, I just can't get rid of them. I don't wanna get rid of them. Look at all my penguins things and the pirates. <laughs> Steelers, I really actually don't like that when I actually get getting rid of that. As far as underwear, socks, bras, I encourage you to try to get rid of one third of your collection. Um, starting with anything that has holes. So like these, I'm pretty sure they have holes. Let's put them on here. Nope, that one's good. I swear there's one that has holes. That would be something I should maybe maybe get rid of now. Okay, so as far as shoes, I feel like most of my closet with the shelving, it looks pretty good because it does serve as a backdrop in a lot of my videos, but I do have just an excess amount of shoes in different places. For example, here, I probably should get rid of these because they just aren't looking the greatest anymore. Um, I love these flats. They're from Walmart and I've worn them forever, but the sole is starting to come off. So I'm thinking about just gluing this and then, you know, I can donate them. Oh, I didn't know you were. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, uh, another thing. This, like, what is this? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure why that was ever here. I don't know either. We're. It's like you're a uh, the, the cat character. says, don't get rid of that. It looks Fine. like me. <laughs> okay, I know I'm a leopard person, but I just can't stand this leopard pattern. I'm sorry, I don't like it. All right, I need to figure out something with these pants. It's just too many and it's all tangled. And these pants, I never wear them. I just don't wear them. I really just need to downsize my blazers. I want them to be just uniform and beautiful. This one is just too big. It's way too big. Okay, so it is now the end of the day, but fortunately the sun still is shining, so it, it's taken a long time. But let me just show you what I did. So as you can see here, look, oh, there is space in between all of the racks. I, I, I kind of color coordinated everything. This is all long sleeve things. This flows into more long sleeve, but more pattern. I tried to like keep everything in a nice color scheme. Then these are all short sleeve. Then we have my sweaters and I can definitely reach in and grab things better and it just looks beautiful. Let's go to this side now. So over here we have my jackets and before everything was just so scrunched in there. So this just gives me a sense of relief. It's just easier to see what I actually have. Here are all of my pants and I definitely picked a lot that I don't ever wear and I'm donating them. And then my beloved cardigan and blazer section. It just looks beautiful. It's, it's neat, it's organized and I'll just be able to grab and see what I actually love. Oh, and and then my drawers, we can't forget about my drawers. I really made a dent in them. So they are so not overwhelming now. I can see everything. I really got rid of a lot of items. Um, even my bras, like everything. These are the bras that I actually wear. No longer am I rifling through things that I thought I should keep 
but it's been years since I've worn. So that does it for this video. I'm so glad that I finally tackled my closet. I really hope this inspires you guys to go through your closets, make some donations, maybe sell some items. The biggest tip I have for you is hold up an item and if it gives you this sinking feeling like, eh, then you just need to part ways with it. So thanks so much for watching this and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.